What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and this is gonna be a fun video. We have a live attack for you guys against a weird base. We got a weird plan, of course. I mean, wouldn't show you guys anything less. These are always fun videos to record. Uh, me attacking a base live after going through the plan and just kind of seeing how things turn out. I've uploaded a lot of fails, especially recently, so we're hoping to get a triple in this all Town Hall 13 war in One Hive Origins. Um, a lot of you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, let me know in the comments. I'll continue making the uh, these live attacks. They don't get a ton of views because they're not popular to people outside the subscriber base, but there's a lot of people that um, have told me they enjoy watching them. So let me know if that's you in the comments and I'll give it a heart down there. Anyway, I'm gonna go over the plan as usual. It's a fun plan and we'll give this one a try. Um, bases like these, you have to take them at face value and really look to, there's a reason they're kind of a trashy anti-2 base and there's a reason that can be hard to attack because the typical stuff might not work against it quite as well. So I'm going to hit it with dragons, a drag bat plan, and if you want, pause the video, think how you would use drag bat against this, maybe, you know, we can compare ideas to some extent here. My plan is this after thinking about it for a few minutes. Um, and this is, this is how cheeky I'm trying to get here. Bowler bounce this wizard tower, which I think is possible because if I drop it right up against that dark storage, I think the second bounce can reach and nothing is in range unless a Tesla pops right here. You know, hats off to the defender if they were expecting that. Um, but considering the quality of the base elsewhere, I don't know if they were thinking about bowler bounces. It seems like the least of their worries. Um, and I'm going to talk a lot of smack about this base, and it's going to be hilarious if I fail on it. Um, these are some weird compartments with all the everything compact. I'm going to take advantage of that and drop a, bl a loon and a blimp. Just put it down. The splash from the blimp, I think it got a buff at some point. It, it can take out these buildings completely. So I'm going to try to drop it... Um, probably right in, right here um, or actually you know I, I might uh, yeah I'll try to drop it right there and it might even you know get splashed in this entire compartment it's, I'm not sure the exact radius of the blimp but it does a ton of damage when dropped so we'll see what happens you know follow up um, and I should I should mention it's gonna come like a little more like that um, and I think, if anything, I'll drop it a little towards the back, just try to get all four of these down upon drop. Then the, the Yetis and the Valk can come back. No Rage. Gonna drop my Royal Champ here, let her just walk up. She should get all the way up to the single Inferno, I'm thinking, um, which would be awesome. So that should clear that entire part of the base for pretty good value. Um, I don't see anything going wrong there. Then... Uh, I'm going to stop, start dropping these Barbarians to lure out the CC. This is a weird plan, I warned you. Um, the Bowler should still be down here, but if not, I'm going to use Archers to lure. Um, and if if there's a test that pops, I can always kind of drop stuff back behind here. Should be a free little hold to lure things down in a way. Who knows what it's going to be. It might be a Lava Hound, which would be fine. It might be something else. We'll just have to, uh, have to see what comes out of that CC. Um... Bring it down to six as much as I can. Uh, once the champ has kind of died and everything, shouldn't take terribly long. Maybe like a um, should definitely be less than a minute. Uh, I'll I'll get everything going quickly. So once the CC comes out and starts heading down towards the lure, wherever that may be, let me clear things up. Um, so this part of the base is gone and the CC is out. Um, I'm going to drop an Ice Golem right here. It'll tank that single Inferno briefly, as well as the Scatter and the uh, Royal Champion. My Queen and a Valk. Let that start working. As the single is being tanked, I'm going to slip my King down with a Valk as well. Um, you know, early on his ability, the Queen will take him down pretty quick, um, so I'll have to hit the ability. All I want to do is ideally get these taken out on either side. And I know the Queen might be extra helpful and maybe snipe a air defense or a scatter shot or maybe get less who knows but that's kind of the goal is to get that down on each side and there's not really a lot of places for traps honestly even though the part of the base is kind of oddly pushed up against the um the perimeter of the map not a lot of places for traps i'm feeling pretty good about that assuming the cc doesn't get in my way if it's like an all archer cc that would be really rough um pray that doesn't happen um because 
I can't lure it out with my like seven barbarians, that's for sure. Um, so I'll, I'll just kind of end the attack if it's one of those all, you know, 45 archer CCs. Okay, so as soon as that's going down, I, while the scatter shots and everything's being tanked, Lava Hound, uh, I think eight dragons and maybe a loon or two. Rage, Rage. I'm not even going to bother freezing initially because things are going to be going down so fast. Save my uh, one of my freezes for right here, probably. Sweeper, single Inferno. Uh, see more value there. Big thing is the funnel on either side. If that can go down and my dragons keep going towards the middle, they'll take out the eagle, and that's what is important here. Uh, try to save the warden's ability as long as I can, obviously. Um, it'll cover the town hall. It's just a matter of if it's going to be on the front end of the town hall going down, or preferably the back end if, if the dragons aren't taking too much damage. Um, that being said, I'm going to... I have five, or sorry, six bat spells, and then two more freezes. And I have an extra ice golem that I'm going to use in this wizard tower in the event that it doesn't go down to the bowler bounce. If it does, I can use my ice golem like here or wherever is needed really. Um, and just kind of play it by ear with where that ice golem would best be spent. If there's a lava hound, you know, hanging out. <laughs> I don't even know what I'll do with it. Because um, I don't want to make the lava hound get in the way of my dragons. A lot going on. Um, then the, the bats... I'm thinking I'll come from here, makes the most sense, with two freezes on this wizard tower. Um, I, I was considering coming from over here to get those expos out of the way. It'll be a kind of play-by-ear type thing. This whole attack is kind of a play-by-ear type thing. Um, a lot, which way is to clash? There we go. A lot going on. Let's give it a try. I don't want to spend the entire video talking about my plan. Because, um, you know, if it's a 45 Archer CC, it could end pretty quickly. Um, okay, this is going to be a fun one to do for sure, guys. I hope I can at least make it interesting. Um, let's see. we got everything cooked up. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's give it a try. Um, like I said, this is a All Town Hall 13 War. League we're doing in the Origins. And, yep, let's, uh, let's give this one a go. Okay, start off with the bowler, loon blimp, royal champion. Then we'll pause, then start learning stuff out with barbs. See if we can get this perfectly. Nope. That sucks. Well, the good news is we got a lot of value with those Yetis. I think we'll get at least one of those Expos down. Tesla's in all kinds of random locations. Um, let the champ go just a little longer. Start learning this out. That is a very okay CC. I am very okay with that. Wow, this champ's going to get a lot of value for me. Got that single down. Oh, that was huge. It got great value. Okay. One more... Ice, Queen, Valk, King, Valk, Lava Hound, King's Ability, Dragons, Loon, Warden, Rage. Warden's Ability. Oh, uh, everything's on a hound. That's not good. We'll rage up these dragons. See, I'm afraid that eagle's not going to go down. Shoot. That lava hound. <laughs> I don't know where to put these bats, guys. Um, gotta do it somewhere. Um... 
Queen's ability. Guess we're going straight for the eagle, guys. This should be interesting. Put that there. Um, this is shaping up to be a odd attack, to say the least. Um, gonna just not even gonna waste the next freeze in this wizard tower. I don't think. Save it to keep those dragons up. Um, I don't think this is going to three star. Well, yeah, we don't have enough time anyway. Get something on that. These last barbs down. Ah, that sucks. I was really hoping to take this space out. Um, plan could not have gone better initially. I got these extra freezes, which hurts. The Lava Hound was really what took this attack out. I mean, if you if if I could have thought that through a little more... Um, we'll never end an attack with a spell, but I guess we got one. We'll take a look at the replay. Um, lot to learn. I mean, probably won't hit this base again, to be honest, but don't underestimate that Lava Hound and your dragons getting locked onto it, because it is a death sentence for these dragon attacks. Let's take a look at the replay. Um, just kind of talk through what happened here. Bowler Bounce, mm, maybe a little bit ambitious. But that is awfully close. If I had dropped it maybe a little lower, uh, that I mean, I mean, it does splash damage, and it's taking out that other building there. It's a little bit outside the wall, I guess, on on the outer part of the wall. Um, so you know, not a huge deal. The blimp gets good value, as I expected. I mean, the drop took out that entire compartment. I should have put like miners in it or something. Um, I don't know. I, I think it. it well, I got I only got a couple additional buildings. Hard to know. Maybe an empty blimp and try to use those CC troops elsewhere if that's possible within the game. The Royal Champion, I mean this value I had I did not think I would get that much, but um, things were going great. I was feeling really happy. The sweeper was down, uh, the, the single inferno was down, I'm luring the CC out. Um, and of course it's the lava hound. Maybe I should have killed it with a baby dragon and like a wizard or something. Didn't want to waste the time. I mean, I'm down to two minutes at this point, which is what I was a little bit worried about was time. Um, so I, I got it sequestered at the, for the time being. It may have been almost better if my queen had died earlier, but I started those dragons really fast, which was a good thing. You know, not thinking about the Lava Hound, that was a good idea. King does his job, gets all the buildings I need him to. At this point, let's see, he gets that army camp, they're going to go to that single inferno, and I think they will make their way with the next uh, rage, if I were to use it where I did pretty much, they'll, they'll make their way over. Problem is that Lava Hound coming out and doing me dirty, and, you know, very unfortunate. It takes about five of my dragons with it, along with that ice golem, just for, you know, to really add insult to injury. Went ahead and raged up those dragons. I mean, I think the attack was pretty much screwed at this point. I don't think there'd be any way to to recover right here, and that's kind of why I paused, is I just didn't know of a good way to, to come back from that. Um, hard to know what to do with that Lava Hound. Maybe drop like a, the Healer Archer trick is actually not a bad idea, maybe. I mean, that hasn't been used in how long, uh, where you put two archers and then a healer on it to kind of keep the Hound uh, away from everything. But with all the new mechanics in the game, that might not even work anymore. Who knows? The you know healer might switch or might not heal the archers. Um, went ahead and just went straight at the eagle because that's you know that's pretty much all I could do. Um, but there was those expos being on ground uh, plus everything else, or sorry, being on ground in air plus everything else kind of made this attack not possible from that point forward. Um, but yeah, you know, tough one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the plan. I uh, always try to make these as fun and, and interesting as possible. And like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. How would you have hit this base? Um, could you change my plan a little bit to make it work? I think so. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on that? Or would you hit it completely differently? I'll, I'll check into that uh, after I upload the video. But that'll do it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bisectatron out.